In today's video, I'm talking about Power Query shortcuts, not just regular Power Query shortcuts, but the shortcuts that apply to the advanced editor while you're writing some M code. No further ado, let's do this together. All right, so the first one is a zooming. Not a lot of people till this date know that you can zoom in the Power Query window, and not just the Power Query window, but also the advanced editor window. So as of now, I'm just in Power Query, some regular query that I have created. And if I'd like to zoom the window that I have in front of me, I'm just gonna press the shortcut Control and plus sign. Sorry, that's gonna be Control Shift and plus sign, and the window zooms in. If you happen to jump over to the view tab and the advanced editor, you can also again press control shift plus sign and you're going to zoom in that window as well. Isn't that awesome? Next up is moving the lines of the code up or down. Very, very simple. Let's just say that I'm working on line number three and I'd like to change the position of line number three from line three to line six. How do I do that? You don't have to select the line. You don't have to make sure that you're at the start of the line nor do you have to make sure that you're at the end of the line. Be anywhere in the line and just press the shortcut Alt and down arrow and you will change the position of the line wherever you'd like to take it. If in case you had two lines selected, note that the selection as of now is a partial selection, not the full lines have been selected. And even if I now press the Alt down arrow or Alt up arrow, the entire lines that I have been selected, they actually move up or down in the code. Awesome. Next up is duplicating the lines of the code. It's pretty much the same shortcut, but just one extra key to press. Now you could be anywhere between the line right here. And now this time to duplicate line number three, which is change type, I'm gonna press the simple shortcut Alt Shift down arrow, and I have just duplicated that line. In case you did select two lines, even partial selection is okay. And if I now pressed Alt Shift down arrow, I've actually duplicated two lines of the code. Awesome. The next one is moving the screen. Let's just say that you're working with a really long piece of code, the M code right here. Now, as of now, my current selection is somewhere in line number three, maybe at the start. Now, obviously, if I scroll up or down, I can certainly do that, but that's using the mouse. I can also use my arrow keys to go up or down, but perhaps I don't really want to move my active cursor down. I just want to take a look at the code, which is down. I don't really want to move my cursor. What I could do is I could use the control and the down arrow, and this is going to shift the screen only, not really where the active cursor is at the moment. And I can just go back up and I can start writing my code, which is in line number two, and I can continue working. So remember, control down arrow or up arrow just to move the screen, not really the active position of the cursor. Next up is indentation. If you work with DAX and you'd like to format your DAX, I'm sure you would want to format your M code in pretty much the similar way like the way that you format your DAX. How do you do that? I can actually go right here to the added custom step and try to do some things to format it. For now, I'm just gonna maybe press enter to move that to the next line, but I don't really want the code to start right at the start. I would want the code to be indented a bit towards the right and maybe start right here. How do I do that? I'm gonna click right here at the start of this, or maybe you can click anywhere in the center as well. Doesn't really make a difference, but you're gonna press the shortcut control square bracket, which is the close square bracket to move the code to the right indentation. If you wanted to do the other way, you're gonna use the shortcut control and the open square bracket to move to the left and control close square bracket to move to the right as many times as you would like to move it. And that's pretty much it. So you can just maybe press enter and then move the code to the right or to the left to indent the code like the way that you'd like to see it. Next up is commenting. Really important while you're writing some M code. If you'd like to comment any piece of code and not really execute it, how do you do that? What you can do is maybe just add two slashes at the start and this is going to maybe do the trick of commenting, but how do you do that with a shortcut? What you can do is maybe pick up any piece of code. You can even go select somewhere in the middle or maybe select a bunch of lines and then use the shortcut control and forward slash. I believe that's a forward slash. Yes, it is. So control forward slash is the shortcut to comment the line in case you'd like to uncomment your code. You can simply press that once again, control forward slash, and this is going to uncomment the line. Final shortcut, deleting the lines of code. How do you do that? You can just maybe select anywhere in the middle of the line and use the shortcut control shift K to delete one single line. If you happen to select multiple lines, you can just use the shortcut control shift K once again to delete the lines. Of course, you can get them back by pressing Control Z till the time you're there in the advanced editor. 
The last one, how do you save the advanced editor in the quick access toolbar to get access to that very, very quickly? If you're working with the advanced editor, most of the times this is going to be super handy and probably save you like maybe two seconds in the entire day. How do you do that? You can go over to the view tab, click on the advanced editor, right click and say that you'd like to add that particular tool to your quick access toolbar. Once you do that in the quick access toolbar, you're going to see that you have the advanced editor added. How do you access that is just by you know, tapping the alt key on the keyboard. And you can see that since I added the advanced editor on the first position of the quick access toolbar, I just have to press one to access that. Now in the first time that looks long, but if you quickly press alt one, this is going to open up the advanced editor and you just saved two seconds. <laughs> All right, that's been it. These are my personal power query shortcuts that I happen to use in the advanced editor while writing the M code. And guess what? Most of these shortcuts are also going to work in DAX. And just in case you are using uh, VS code, Visual Studio code for any developmental work, these shortcuts are mostly applicable to that as well. I'm going to leave a few links to the videos that I have done on uh, DAX shortcuts in the past, and you should take a look at that as well. That's been it. Let me know if you have any questions around this. I'll be glad to reply. In the end, a big shout about my DAX and my Power Query courses in case you're starting out your journey with Power BI and Power Query and DAX seem to be hard and you'd like to master the fundamentals first and then proceed on to solving more difficult, more challenging problems of your own data, I'd highly recommend that you take a look at my courses. It's going to be super awesome. Thanks so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.